For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath a short time. Yeah, because they're the elephants in the world. So, at the most side, you know, it's one thing for the elephants to enjoy what it is, man. But the most of the is satisfied off their judgment, man. And we're pointing that finger at one man on the planet. Thus saith the Lord Bowen concerning Eel. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. That's why you have those Iranian black Muslims. I forget the Houthis. They over there terrorizing the ships in uh, the Mediterranean because of what's going on. 
the shit the wicked to destroy. Yeah. And what did Esau do? Uh, the, the Americans, well, somebody, somebody, they start bombing this one. So you don't think it's going to escalate? Yeah, it's going to escalate. Because the most high wants to escalate. That's right. Go ahead. It says, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. And we're seeing him here greatly despised now. What is your name? The other nations are greatly despised. They're no longer afraid of each other. Yeah, because they got the same speaking uh, weapons that he has. Right. So if you want to shoot missile, you can go missile to missile. That's the attitude of those nations. And that's the in Joel, the third chapter. Go there real quick. I'm going to try to think you can read right. Oh, it's Joel. It's Joel, the third chapter. <laughs> Who you at, Joe? What? Yeah, because the prophecies is all showing that the so-called white man is getting ready to take out of power. That's the time we're living in, man. We're living in time for the Lord to get ready to snatch the power from him and knock him off the, uh, the rulership of the planet Earth. Because he put him there. The most high put him there. All right, he put him there. Why did I Three verse nine. It says, "Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles." Gentiles are the other nations. Can we go to the swine? Your Japanese, your Chinese. They're showing you that you're Arab. Because you got all these scary movies. The Africans, those Africans that was over there at the international court, they were, they were, they were right there standing alongside with the rest of the nations. All right, the South Africans. Go ahead. It says, "Prepare war." Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. That's the fact. The most high is the the battle. Go ahead. Beat your plowshares into, into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. No longer there. Just as America put all the those got, uh, so we set up over there in that region of the world, but really the Godfather, the of the King of Israel, the writer of the Godfather, and they ready to tear that ass up right over there, and they already over here. Super Saiyan, I want to say, you know, the Master of the Dynasty. Alright, this is what they call it the Holy War. Alright, uh, what's it gonna be? Oh, three. Three. So nine. Right here on the shores of America and around the world. Hey, the native You know, you don't understand the terror of your house. So, nigga, talking about that kind of stuff. You know, it's going to be a war straight down. You know, it's going to be a year of casting. Alright, I'm going to say it's something for the scriptures to say. And I'm all for it. And gather yourself together round the belt. And that international, and they were all at your international store. Those are all the the of the That was the stop to the genocide that these people were doing. They have no regard to life. And that's Esau. He doesn't have no regard for life. This is John 10 and 10. He made a deep from the top, but he killed, steal, and destroyed. Yeah, I was trying to say that we may have a space. Somebody give me a Matthew 24. Whatever he wants, I tell you, I'm The most unpardoned part. Because that's what you were like. Alright, true. Right. But not that's 24 and 22. It says, and except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. And the lion was your hot wash. That's why the Lord said, I said what he said, man. Uh, uh, in John the 10th chapter, and he go there. Like, it rained in my father's world, man. The Lord let us come, man. Alright? There ain't gonna be no flesh to be saved. He saw he don't just a character uh, with and you well, are a vessel of wickedness that's, that's gonna be put on display as, a, as an exhibit to the world. This is the area of what for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they that they might have life 